Hi students, this is Dr. Badrinath and uh, today's our topic is urinary tract infections. Okay, see urinary tract. Just like railway tract, our body consists of a tract for the urine. See, here you can find the separate tract for the urine. And here also you can find the tract, but it is infected. It is completely infected by this smart devil. It looks very smart uh, and it is uh, without applying of a pond powder and fair and lovely. Yeah, this looks like a very smart, small devil. You cannot see with your direct naked eye. It is a micro organism. It is a bacteria. This bacteria name is E. coli. E. coli. Ur most of the urinary tract infections are caused by the E. coli. Urinary tract infections, UTI is nothing but E. coli. E. coli is nothing but UTI. In most of the cases, not in all the cases, 95% cases are E. coli only. So that's why uh, you have to remember this smart devil in your... And if you see, this side is completely, this tract, urinary tract is completely infected. See, this area, this area, this area, this area, total from top to bottom. Top to bottom, you see here, you can see various terms. Upper UTI, upper means only this part. This part, this part is upper UTI, kidney and the tubules, nephron and all. If there was an infection to this area, you can say it is upper UTI. Lower UTI, if there is an infection in this area, urinary bladder, penis, urethra, or vagina, whatever it may be. Okay? And acute urinary tract infections. For short time, is called as acute. That is smart. Chronic urinary tract infections, it is for a long time, chronic. And UTI, urinary tract infection, is a kidney failure. It was very problematic to treat uh, this condition, to handle this condition. Okay? Uh, first, first, I will give you a, one wonderful drug. It is compulsory for in all competitive examination. This is something special than the urinary. Before entry into the urinary tract infection, something special I am giving. What is that uh, special AC? Urinary analgesic. New terminology. See the term. Urinary analgesic. Generally, for headache or for the stomach, generally we are taking body aches. Almost all body aches we are taking a common painkillers. Uh, but for the urinary analgesic, it is a separate term. Uh, phenazopyridine. Phenazopyridine is actually orange dye. It is actually, it looks like an orange dye. It makes a tablets are available. See, tablets are available. Dye. Phenazopyridine. Just like a pyramid. You can pyridine. Pyramid. Pyramid Dhyana Kendra. Like that you can remember. Pyramid meditation. Orange dye, which exerts the analgesic action in the urinary tract and it offers the symptomatic relief of the burning sensation. Whenever you will feel burning sensation here, fire, it's not flower, it's a fire, it's a puspa. Okay, then what happened? Dysuria, dysuria and urgency due to the cytosis, cytosis, uh, cystosis, sorry. Uh, it does not have antibacterial property. That's why I'm telling you this is a special. It is not used to treat the infection. It is used to treat the Burning sensation, it is a puspa, it is a, whenever there was a fire, we can use this. Okay, side effects are nausea, epigastric pain are the side effects. And here you can see the dose, 200 to 400. This is a tablet, 15, uh, that is a tablet is available. This is a, our uh, syllabus, urinary tract infection, that is today's topic, right? Okay, and this is my mobile app. You can be download it from the Google Play Store. After downloading it, go to the store option here. All my presentations are available in the form of PDF. Go to go and select the course, whatever you want. Okay. And this is my playlist, my YouTube channel. Go to the playlist option. I, all my explanation videos are available here. Okay. Right. And if you click on each one subject wise, I have given. If you click on each subject, you will get a topic wise. UTI, urinary tract infections. Most of the UTI can see this is an infection, infection, infection. Most of the urinary tract infection caused by the gram negative bacteria. Gram negative bacteria, especially coliforms, coli, E. coli. See, that's why I mentioned here. Acute UTI involves the organism E. coli. Acute for a short time UTI. Whereas a chronic UTI, recurrent, again it is coming, recurrent, recurrent, repeated urinary tract infection caused by the mixed infection. Okay. Lower UTI, single dose AMA is enough. Lower UTI, lower part of UTI. 
you can give it less dose here single dose of antimicrobial agent is enough to treat but three days regimen you have to be give it considered as after daily one dose like three doses upper uti needs to more aggressive and longer treatment okay yeah here you can see lower uti doses upper uti doses lower uti doses you can use a small small doses okay uh, why means uh, generally small doses than usual is enough because we need antibacterial action only in the urine that is also almost uh, most of the drugs will be excreted to the urine only that we know very well that's why the almost all the drugs will be accumulated there so only small quantity is enough whereas upper uti kidney like a kidney infection you have to be treated it as a infection of the body that's why you have to give usual doses common doses you have to give that is very very important point choice of a drug is depends upon the bacterial investigation urine has to collect patient urine has to collect and it will do grow the organism we don't know what is the organism inside we don't know either it may be e coli or it may be a mix now what happen you have to grow that by using a uh, petri dish okay and media media so on the media it grows now you use all antibiotic discs small disc gentamicin acidic paper these are the paper discs which are immersed in the gentamicin that genta that gentamicin immersed disc paper disc you keep on the petri plate and see the zone of inhibition so this is working well when compared to acetic acid then you can prescribe the gentamicin like that okay send urine sample for the culture studies for three days three days culture studies it is not a half an hour or one hour three day study but before that you have to start with the cotramax sodium you can be start giving no problem at all okay for three days after getting a culture you have to change the tablet okay right and commonly used anti antimicrobial regimens commonly used antimicrobial regimens are this is a very very important one norflax as in antimicrobial regimens for the acute urinary tract infection all are given orally 3 to 5 days norflax as in ciprofloxacin as in dose 12 hours of flax as in cotrimoxazole uh, cephalexin see cefadoxim cef cefadoxim here amoxicillin plus clavulonic acid these are the things you have to be prescribed okay and uh, sulfonamides these are the uh, some special points sulfonamides uh, as per the pharmacology tripathi book not using nowadays uh, occasionally employed for suppressive and prophylactic use prevention prevention is better than cure okay whenever the patient is getting some sensation immediately you can give okay this one sulfa salicy sulfonamides cotrimoxazole it is a combination of trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole it is a used for acute uti when bacteriological data is not there whenever okay because it covers the majority of urine pathogens once daily at bed time 480 mg don't use for pregnant uti infections and ampicillin and amoxicillin in olden days it was using nowadays not using they are not using ampicillin we are not using amoxicillin nowadays okay in the in the past first that's why in the black and white movie in the past we are using that in those days but nowadays many e coli strains are ampicillin resistance that's why we are not using uh, if you want to give it then you better to give amoxicillin with clavulonic acid okay uh, that we know very well this combination is powerful beta lactamase inhibitors and cephalosporins now we are using cephalosporin nowadays using the increasing the that is a recent uh, color colorful movies okay uh, this is olden days this is nowadays cephalaxin cephalosporins we are giving okay this all these points you have to write in the examination gentamicin very effective against the most of urinary pathogen include the pseudomonas or drawback are narrow margin of the safety need the parenteral admission that is a uh, injection before uh, bacteriological study report has not came whenever we can write this also gentamicin amoxicillin plus clavulonic acid combination you can be given and uh, see uh, there was one uh, twist here whenever you are writing a prescribing or whenever you are giving a medication you can be check it that there is one logic here what is that logic i will tell you ph of the urine ph of the urine if you are p if you are see here i have given some drugs nitrofurane all these drugs tetracycline clozapine are very effective very effectively work in the acidic urine 
these are the drugs very effective in the alkaline urine whereas the chloramphenicol ampicillin is either it may be a acidic urine or basic urine it is very effective it is a ph is immaterial ph is not dependent okay but uh, these things you have to be write in the examination very well and the uti patients kidney failure patient problem is here urinary tract infection is there kidney is also failed typical case then what you have to do contra indicate all these drugs keep in your mind contra indicate all these minds better to avoid all these times go for the culture test so you left all these drugs and for remaining drugs you do a culture test and whichever you feel sensitive then you can be prescribed that uh, the thing okay right